I give thanks to the Almighty. Girl, pretty in a off white tee. Living life, man, I pray your IG. Skin soft, so you need your ID. And girl, you a queen of a nation. Dark skin, girl, they ain't related. Tryna be like you, so they hate and they like in the juice that you make them. I think. hi guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are good i hope you guys are doing well so today i'm coming again with another eyeshadow tutorial today we are going to go purple what did you stumble then any yeah so today we are going to do a purple eyeshadow look i just feel like i haven't done a purple look in a long time the last time i remember doing purple was probably june something like that so yeah so today let me do purple again because right now so we're just going to figure it out i'm not really sure how i'm going to do it yet but we're going to make up as we go and today i'm coming to you with curly hair i just love myself some curly hair it's just nice and bouncy and it's late okay it's late to the gods <laughs> anywho let's get straight into this video right so first thing we're going to do is grabbing the makeup revolution cut crease canvas i'm just gonna put this on my lids to prime if you guys catch me not looking at the camera it's because i have a mirror over there as well as well as this um yeah no can you guys hear that oh no oh my god this is gonna ruin my whole video now. All you guys gonna be hearing is that. Hopefully, you won't be able to hear throughout the whole video. I'll mute some of the fine for music over, but no. This weather, I swear to God, why is it raining now? Oh my God! Just when I sat down to film. Anywho, guys, take a fluffy blending brush and just blend that all over the eyelids. Okay guys, so now that's blended, we're going to take the Makeup Revolution Express Trisha Bright Eyeshadow Palette. This is the, what's it called again? Rich in Colour. <laughs> I haven't used this in ages. It's the Rich in Colour Palette. It has beautiful, beautiful colours in here. And some nice transition colours as well, which is why I like it because you can have both so first thing we are going to do is go into this shade here called queen i'm going to use that as my transition color okay now that's blended and then we are going to go straight into reckless i think shall we get straight into reckless yeah why not we're going to go straight into the purple this one right here sometimes with like bright colors it can be scary especially if like you're not used to doing bright bold eyeshadow looks it's always easy to do a transition color first like when you put a color you can blend it nice because if you go straight with the purple i can do that if i wanted to but sometimes it's just nice and easy to do transition first because this pigment can be scary sometimes it's scary right so i'm going to take a smaller blending brush and then I'm going to dig into the purple. Okay. And now with this purple, you want to start it right there. On the outer part first, just dab, dab. Okay. And then what you want to do is bring it across like this. Do not take it too high. Keep it right in your eye socket right there decrease as they call it with bright colors make sure you're taking your time blending because when you're gonna look blended no great look i'm gonna go back with the bigger fluffy brush that we used earlier and i'm just gonna again blend the outer edges a bit more 
because that blend that would be perfect right i'm happy with what we've got so far i'm gonna add to it later um what i'm going to do is take the cut crease canvas one more time just put it dab up down the back of my hands and then taking this smaller brush i'm just gonna create a cut crease Okay, now that we've got a nice cool crease base, I'm going to go back with the blending brush that we used for the purple, dab into a bit more of that purple, and I'm just going to intense out, don't stab your eye like I just did, intensify that outer edge just a bit more. Okay, right now I just want you to Pack it on there, don't worry about blending here. Yeah. Just pick, 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 like so. Okay, leave it as that. Next, I'm gonna grab a flat eyeshadow brush. I want a very light color on the crease, so I'm going to use this. Don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it is what it is. It's close to white. I kind of wanted white on there. Basically, anything like would do. Yeah, just pack it on top of the cut crease canvas. Okay, now that we've got that on there, what I want to do is go back with that um, purple fluffy brush. Right now, I'm not going to add anything on there. So, whatever is left on there, I'm going to use that to blend these two colors together okay what i want to do as well is i'm going to take this small blending brush again go in with the purple i'm going to create like some sort of little wing like i want it to be like a slanted Yeah, I want a slanted line to create like a wing effect, if you get what I mean. Yeah, something like that. So it looks like it got like purple eyeliner. Betcha that. I like what that just did. Ooh. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? All of a sudden, it's sunny. I swear to God, this oh my days. This British weather is something else. Ooh, they like the eyes. Yans. I like what that wing effect just did. It is it's done something. Don't know what to call it. But it has done something and I like it. I like how it's looking in the mirror. Yes. Okay. Right, I'm going to take this NARS Climax Mascara and just coat my eyelashes. This mascara makes me feel like I have eyelashes, even when I don't. Right, what we are going to do is I'm going to apply my eyelashes also prime my face and then i'll be right back all right guys so that's my eyelashes and primer done i just bought milk and magnesia on my face and i've kept the eyelashes nice and simple and cute because i don't want to take away from the eyeshadow look so yeah moving on to foundation today i'm going to use my revolution conceal and define in the shade f16 i literally haven't used this foundation in ages ages i've been religiously using my my fenty beauty and i've been neglected this and for some reason i have a feeling it's gonna make me look really dark because if you've been watching my videos from ages 
you already know that this foundation is a bit dark for me but I always make it work but since it's winter obviously if you know you get lighter in winter it's not even the fact that we get light you just get dark in summer so you appear light in winter so during summer it was all right but we'll see how it looks now but to be honest when i highlight it's gonna blend it all together so it's not it's not a worry i just remember why i love this foundation despite it being dark on the camera i'm already looking to make me look dark but the way it just smooths everything and it's like it covers everything. The coverage on this is beautiful. The thing with me as well, I don't mind looking dark. Like, chocolate me up. I'm all about that, so it doesn't really bother me. I get scared when I look too light. Okay. <laughs> I like me looking chocolate. Look tasty. And you're just nice and matte as well. Literally, I have no powder on my face, but you can see like there's hardly any oil whatsoever. And again, I'm just attracted to my eyes right now. Keep looking at them. And this lace is late. Late. Okay, I think I'm happy with that blend. Now for concealer, again, this is. Another one that I haven't used in ages is the Revolution Concealer and Define because I used to use my Infinite one. What was it called again? Conceal and Define Infinite? Yeah, it was like nice and yellow. This one is not on the yellow side, but I've been using ages. But so since I used the Revolution foundation, I thought let me bring it out. What is the hair in my concealer? Yeah, it's in the shade c12 it's like on the light side but that's perfect since the cons um the foundation is a bit light in it we're gonna do a whole balancing act i like reverse contouring my nose because I don't have time to contour my nose like that. I really don't. That's it. And to blend that, I'm just going to take my damp beauty sponge. And we are going to blend everything. Especially when it comes to lighter concealers, you really want to keep it in the center of your face. Don't be dragging your concealer up because you want the highlighting bit to be in the center of the face, not elsewhere. Right, I'm gonna take my lip gloss. Get it this long, I should be proud of myself. I hate having lip gloss when I'm doing my makeup. Or like Vaseline and stuff. There we go. Now to blend around this harsh harshness that we are saying, take the bumper of the beauty blender and just dab it away. Okay, and to set that, I'm gonna take the black opal powder in medium, which is mixed with the Fenty Beauty powder in honey. We're just going to use that to set. Just going to pile the powder in. contour does my love my nose look and I haven't even contoured like reverse contouring is way up 
and to set the whole of my face i'm gonna take the fenty beauty pro filter and powder foundation in 430 because i just love how smooth it makes my skin whoa what is that what is that There's some weird white stuff on my brush. Right, I'm gonna cover with the powder because you better fix yourself. Don't have time for this. Okay, that's beautiful. Right. What we are going to do next? Oh my god, it was my it got my blush brush as well actually. It's the cook Chris Camber. Leaking again. Like it always does this. Why? Stay away from that with the house, please. Thank you. Oh, I didn't I didn't go on this brush. Bloody hell. It's just trying to look cute, but you're trying to ruin it. Right, to bronze, I'm gonna take the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in the shade and robe. And I'm gonna take this nice brush from MIT um, brushes. MIT brushes, MIT Beauty. <laughs> okay, we are nice. And bronze sculpted now we are going to blush on the take the Juvis place so hard in blush volume one palette excuse how dirty it is but we move I'm going to mix these two colors today because why not I'm gonna mix Zane and Toby just dab into both Okay, and just to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go back in with the purple with this tiny brush and go under my eyes like so. Then we're going to clean the brush to the best of my ability. And then taking the shade that we use on the crease, I just don't want to lift my eyes to the palette, show you guys, so you guys know which shade I mean. That light one of my eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the inner part. Okay, like so. Let it dust the way. The fallout. Then to set my face, I'm taking this. Avon setting spray and just set my face. Okay, and then grabbing my sponge, I'm just gonna. Oh my days! I'm gonna throw this Scott Chris canvas away. Oh my god! You went on everything. Bella blend into my skin, boy. Before I throw feet. Oh my. Calm down, calm down, calm down. How did you get on my bloody sponge? Like ruining my makeup right at the end has always been my worst nightmare. Like, let my makeup get ruined up. At least when I'm doing my eyebrows, I can clean that off. No, when everything's on, and then the last thing, which is setting spray, you want to ruin it. Try again, baby. Try again. Okay. We are going to highlight. I'm going to take the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. And I'm gonna grab this pencil brush. Okay, 
I'm gonna use the same. Um, let me just check this now. That weird thing on my brush. Goes. I'm gonna use the same highlighter to highlight my cheeks. Okay, going back with the blush brush. I'm gonna blend that. Alright, I'm gonna take my mascara right and just gonna quickly do my lower lash. Ooh, my eyes look smoky. Okay, don't close your eyes before you're wearing the makeup. Smoky, smoky. And my nose want to be running. Behave. Okay, move on to lips. I'm gonna take this vital dark brown it's not it's actually an eyebrow pencil but my lip liner i'm gonna line my lips with it Last but not least, when I say this Kiko Milan lip gloss in the shade 08, the number has worked out, so I'm not even gonna show you. I love this lip gloss. And voila guys, we are done. And she's back with the bulking. <laughs> right guys, we are done. I look cute. My eyes. Whatever that wing effect I did with the eyeshadow is doing base. My eyes look smoking. I look great and I love my hair. Ooh, I look big. Hair. This is all the biggest you can go because today I've put mousse in here so it kept it like down and not too frizzy. But usually I would have it out here. Okay, I love me some big hair, but ooh, I like the what do you call it? The wet, yeah, it's giving me the wet look, which I like. I like. I really do. I really do. But yeah, guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it because I really do. I keep looking at myself in the mirror. I'm sorry, guys. Let me let it come up. But yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. The eyes are beautiful. Okay, the eyes are beautiful. Hopefully, I explained it well. So if you guys want to recreate it, go ahead. But yeah, the face is looking nice and smooth. And see what I told you guys about that dark foundation. Once you highlight. It balances. I look like my skin tone. Okay, I look one color. Okay, but yeah, guys, this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked it. If you did, make sure you leave me a massive thumbs up. <laughs> leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please, 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 please make sure you subscribe. It's free. It takes literally one second. Make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell as well so you can get notified when I upload next. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yeah. No, 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 yeah. Mr. No. Oh, my